Zerkam wcześniej, a potem Państwo z nami zapomniałem.
Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, well, we made it today. So, uh, what's the long even yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No problem on that. All right. Um, it's my pleasure to have you with us from the Mathematical Institute for the Academy of Sciences. Uh, so, Piotr is one of the very rare people in the Institute of Mathematical Sciences. Thanks, and he will tell us today about the reinforcement learning or how to learn to read. Piotr, the floor is yours. So, uh, let me see. So, uh, like uh, the overview of this talk uh, is as follows. So uh, I will make a short intro to RL. I assume that you don't know like, basically anything. So I will go from uh, really basic so, uh, I mean, I need to start somewhere. <laughs> uh, then, uh, I mean, uh, Theoretical crash course will be really a crash course, and I will go over to case studies to give you some glimpses uh, what you can achieve with a uh, with RAL. And then, if time allows, we'll make a practical session so uh, I, uh, we can tra try to train something. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, and if, um, Time you have a question, just don't hesitate to ask. I uh, talked this kind of course a few times, so it might seem to me that everything is clear while it is not. So, one thing uh, which I want you to remember, even if you forget everything else, is that the RL is uh, like. Uh, Tikan and carrot thing. So uh, we want to train something, learn something uh, using a reward signal, which uh, can be positive, then you are on the carrot side, and uh, or, or, or negative, then you are on more on the stick side. Okay, so uh, a little bit of, of the context here. So it's uh, like uh, you see the quote uh, from a, re a relatively famous paper from 2017, uh, which places reinforcement learning as one of three pillars of modern AI joined with supervised learning and, and unsupervised uh, learning. And uh, you, you can see inside this quote that um, this is the problem how to uh, maximize future reward by mapping states in, in the environment to actions. Uh, we'll just over the sentence very carefully in a second. Uh, <coughs> what I, 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 I would like uh, to add here is that the uh, inspirations uh, come from biology, and then there are even some studies that, uh, like, the dopamine system in the brain kind of implements some kind of an RL system, meaning that dopamine is your inside reward. Uh, so, uh, we may think about like some funny experiments, like a mouse. Get into some cheese, and if it's get the cheese, then its dopamine system just uh, bursts out and um, gives it uh, some reward. Okay, cool. So uh, let us be. Uh, ah, okay. So uh, as I said, so this is the key um, phrase here, uh, at least from the um, technical standpoint, and. Uh, why to care about the uh, RL? I mean, uh, well, because it's beautiful, but also because it's powerful. And uh, here you have a um, few examples, which now are kind of um, historical or ready, but starting from um, 2015, uh, 
DeepMind presented a system which could, could play Atari games from the screen. So Atari games are kind of vintage games uh, developed in, I don't know, uh, 70s, 80s. Uh, and uh, nevertheless, they are kind of uh, still demanding. And it was a long time an open question how to make a computer play this game, just without any input, like hard coding, anything, just uh, computer tries and um, they still the knowledge. And finally, it happened in 2015, jointly due to RL and deep learning. Then in, in, in 2016, there was a, a famous uh, Go uh, game. So I don't know um, how many of you know this game. That's in a second thing. Uh, I, I, I just want because I, I, I can say, so say a little bit more, but if everybody knows it, it doesn't make sense. So I am not. Uh, <laughs> a little bit. So I know that uh, some of you know, but um, perhaps um, most do not know. So this is a, a game in which in the Far East, especially in Japan, has uh, uh, the same status as chess in, 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 in the West, meaning that it's considered one of this very hard game. You need to be very smart and practice a lot and then you can play. And uh, from the point of, of artificial intelligence research, it's considered to be much harder than chess uh, because um, there is uh, much higher um, branching factor. So um, by branching factor, I, 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 I understand how many moves you can do and a given time on average, say. And here you can, uh, the rules of the games, uh, maybe I, I should say it quickly, is that you put stones. So one player put one white stones, and the other put the black stones. It's, it's a war game. So if, uh, uh, if there is a group of stones which is mm, surrounded, so say these black stones were surrounded by white stones, white stones that then disappears. At the end of the game, a player uh, counts how much uh, terrain a given player. So here there is like a white uh, region because even if, if black would try to put something here, it, 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 it would be killed. And uh, how many um, there are stones which were killed well anyway so it's like the rules are really really simple but the emerging behavior is really uh really complex and uh, as as i said if you don't know this game you can think that it's like chess or maybe harder or i don't know so uh, anyway so in uh, so, uh, at least for uh, AI perspective, from computer perspective, it was um, considered to be much harder than chess because of this um, branching factor. So, if you want to solve a game, uh, say, uh, so for chess, it's, it's, uh, it was done in the 90s uh, by some brute force technique, and you like. Uh, make a big tree and um, try to search one move from the other. So here it was not possible until 2016 when uh, again DeepMind showed uh, a system which could um, play this game. Uh, and they won with the uh, world uh, master uh, at, at, at that time and um, there's uh, even a movie uh, regarding this uh, this uh, incident, the, like the development of the system and uh, the game itself, uh, and then uh, the third picture that 
One is uh, the Dota game. So again, so many of you know Dota. <laughs> so yeah, so it's like a famous, I mean, I don't know now, but uh, it's a famous uh, e-sport. So um, there are like uh, many people playing these games. There are two teams, uh, or maybe more even, I don't know. No, but I, I play play the one once or twice just for fun. And there are teams uh, in some kind of fantasy world which uh, challenge each other, develop skills, and so on and so forth. Uh, there is apparently a huge scene, so people are playing this game for money as well. So if you are really good, I mean, people are training like you would train for uh, i don't know tennis play just in sitting and and then then compete at the uh, stakes are high so uh, again it was um, considered to be a huge challenge for uh, ai to learn to play this game efficiently and uh, this happened in 2018 so it was uh, again uh, like all these games were solved by some mixture of uh, uh, deep learning and uh, reinforcement learning techniques. Okay, cool. So I hope that at the moment. Sure. Uh, go. Go. G O. Yeah. Uh, so. I hope that at this point I, I convince you that there is something in it that uh, it might be worth of investing your attention or at least knowing about this. And so uh, let us see uh, a little bit more formally what we are aiming for. So uh, recall this phrase from the second uh, slide that we maximize future reward of the agent by mapping states into environment to actions so let us see so the first thing is there is environment so environment is something which in describe the scene uh, we are in so in the case of these games it would be the game but the uh, formalism is really broad so you can basically uh, put an decision problem into this, and we will um, do this on, on the um, practical session as well, hopefully. Then there is an agent which can interact with this world. So say, again, think about these games, because it's it's the simplest, uh, simplest thing. So uh, maybe the simplest thing is to, uh, to stick to one player game. So say you play chess, but your opponent is fixed, and then you are the agent, meaning that you pick a move. So, uh, and picking, uh, picking a move is an action in this world. So you pick a move, move, uh, move uh, uh, so you issue an action, uh, the action, uh, uh, the world, the environment responds this action, makes some uh, um, dynamic transition, and in the back loop you see what has been changed. And what is perhaps most um, important, um, there is a reward. So in games, this reward, in games like chess, this reward is in really sparse. So only at the end of the game you observe. Uh, one which is the w1 uh, zero then there is a draw minus one uh, but it uh, like so, so this makes it really hard to be learned uh, but uh, just to say here I, I put this small robot here to, to have a glimpse that it could be also used in some robotic control and then it might be easier to say maybe uh, a, a, a robot is tasked to clean this room and get some re reward by picking each uh, each piece of garbage. So then it's like the reward might might be also much denser. Uh, and as I said, this. Uh, 
is a very broad formalism. So, uh, like uh, we can think about games, we can think about the robots, uh, we can uh, there are people who are trying to put the RL uh, systems into like uh, how to play play on, on the token exchange view back to biology, you can think that this uh, small rat getting a banana is uh, uh, like uh, the banana is it's a reward. Oh. Okay, and now let us get the, uh, well, perhaps saying that in that map it's a little bit exaggerated, but um, let us make it a little bit more formal. Uh, so what's the game here? So uh, like the environment is uh, described by the state space. So, so this is a set of all the states in the game. It, it, it's each possible positions on the board. And then uh, we have action space and the, the object we are after is policy. Meaning, so as, as it said, so we need to find a mapping from state space, so given the state, state at the moment, what should be the action. And uh, in doing so, uh, so uh, like uh, everything can be random. So I put expectation here and uh, Clearly, it's not very formal what is written, but uh, in this loop, you observe a string of rewards, uh, a stream, stream of rewards, and uh, this gives you a total reward over uh, extended period of time. Uh, in principle, it might be infinite, but in, clean, but in practice, we can cut somewhere. Uh, and this uh, reward depends on your policy, clearly, because uh, say if you play chess and you play in a stupid way or, or just randomly, at the end of the game you will probably lose, so you will see zero, 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 minus one at the end. And if you play in a smart way, you will observe perhaps one at the end, so your policy matters here. Uh, so um, this is to say that uh, sorry, uh, what we are after in the RL. So we want to vary this pi and find the one which gives the maximum expected reward over the uh, episode. So, yeah. Uh, it's okay. So um, I uh, I was hoping to have a blackboard here also. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, okay. Cool. Uh, I don't know. At, 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 um, so much you will see. So so uh, formally, the this MPP. Going to go for Markov decision process. And it's assumed as I like, uh, well, I will put in Java. So this is the state space and this is the action space. And these are fixed and, and they're fixed and they're given. And so you play one game at a time. And uh, if you need to change its rules, you should make it so that it's still fixed within some modern rules. Obviously, there are some extensions, but uh, we'll not go into it today. Uh, you might perhaps ask. Uh, so my favorite question was uh, what Markov stands for here. Markov is the same Markov. So it's like uh, we insist, technically speaking, on, on having the Markov properties. So say you have this, um, this time and you have a 
later on so there are uh, recurrent uh, equations which uh, let you calculate the stuff uh, because of this problem so it's uh, not recurrent about thermal equations with probably arrived at some point and this uh, they work on the state space precisely because of this that even the state don't need to care about your past so uh, meaning that uh, in your reward in the future, which is the thing you care about, it depends only on the state and your own policy, not how you <coughs> arrive the state. I, I, I know that I'm some, somewhat vague, but I, I, I just want both to give you some like higher level uh, overview and uh, some dreams we are after, and at the same time, there's a little bit of this. Anyway, so if nobody asks, I will somewhere. Maybe a question if I understand it correctly. So, if we talk about chess, then the state state would come so a point in the state uh, space would be one configuration of uh, figures on the board, yes, and one. Playthrough would then kind of be a path through the state space. Yeah. Spread mm -hmm. by the yeah. yeah. Okay. And this is so in in in, uh, in chess, it's kind of clear that we have this mark of property. Like you see that in chess, but you don't care uh, what was the path. But say if you are in a robotic system. You need to think a little bit more carefully. So uh, I mean, it's 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 again not that hard to think what you need to include in the state. Uh, you uh, care about um, dynamics, but it turns out that uh, if you want to work with this in practice, it's sometimes hard to measure. I don't know velocity. That and if you don't put um, velocity, you don't have um, this property or. Uh, something like that. Okay, so now uh, I will give you two examples uh, how we what we can do with RL. So uh, I'll uh, this is so for this part of, of the talk. Uh, you need just to believe me that it's true in a sense that I cannot give you all the details. Uh, so uh, and. <clears throat> Uh, like uh, this was stuff in which I was involved in, so I can also give some details later on. Uh, you can ask, and uh, like, but perhaps going into it first, uh, uh, let me make a bold and overstretched uh, statement at the moment that, uh, in a sense, we would like to think about the error that uh, this is a hammer. A hammer that you uh, take any control problem like this uh, monoid skeleton here, uh, run it, uh, let it gather experience, and you hope that an RL algorithm would optimize to uh, to get something done properly. So. Uh, it's in this case we wanted. I mean, the research question. It was still fairly early days of, of this uh, deeper thing. Uh, I, okay, I, I, I should be maybe also clear about one part. Uh, so here we have the spy. Uh, which is going to ask for actions. Okay, so um, this is um, policy. Uh, our goal uh, we want to find uh, um, policy action which issues uh, an action in, in each step. And uh, okay, 
who care about her heart problems. And by heart, what we mean here is the state space is a somewhat big, so it can be about, I don't know, just as clear in the big. Uh, or, uh, so uh, you need to store this function somewhat. Uh, and what you do so nowadays P is deep on This is to say that the error itself was clearly known before time of neural networks, but when they came and uh, people uh, had found ways of actually training the, them, it was plugged as this object and then magic thing that it didn't happen. Uh, so it's uh, mm, can, yeah. uh, we assume pi is a function or, or a malfunction. I assume uh, okay so uh, I see that I may not die that much as I hope. So here uh, we know Mm -hmm. So, distributions uh, like in the most of the cases. So, uh, it's uh, I don't think so. Maybe I say this. It's it's not. Uh, it's an easy fact, but uh, you need to work uh, a little bit to prove it. So what I what I mean by this so is that uh, in each MPP uh, you can I mean you can find uh, you can prove and hopefully you can find accuracy accuracy for this which is the best one this is so. Um, like the first thing that is that in each MDP there is an optimal policy and it's uh, and it is uh, unique. So the, the, the fact that there exists an optimal policy, maybe I should go back here. Uh, uh, so this is phi zero. So uh, here we like. Uh, I see uh, uh, this arc max over uh, all pies, uh, like all uh, the state of the policies uh, of uh, expected reward. And so, uh, like, so that is rather easy to show by some like. Uh, Complex argument that such a guy exists that it's uh, unique, and uh, also what it turns out, and it, it is also easy to show, but uh, it, it, it requires work that is minimistic. Uh, nevertheless, in, uh, uh, it is often useful to uh, use. Uh, Stochastic policies, the one which output probabilities at least at the time of mean trading. Uh, okay, I <coughs> I don't I, 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 I'm just thinking if I want to say why now or later. Maybe I think it is later. Uh, and then more questions. Okay, right, cool. Well, let us proceed. Okay, right, so uh, we are in 2017, so put it, this into the context. It's the early days of uh, of when people learn how to use uh, RL jointly with neural networks. And a question was asked, so, okay, can we uh, like uh, use this, uh, this kind of techniques to learn how to walk? 
and the question was motivated by medicine and biology in a sense in, in the system for a lot people were thinking about some uh, like uh, so, so it turns out that uh, uh, sometimes uh, you may have like one limb which is shorter or longer and you walk in, in, in properly uh, and it, it might be a result of some injury previously <coughs> and then uh, a question is what intervention to do uh, and if you are a doctor you don't want to uh, like first make a limb shorter and then check if it works on a real patient. You would be quite keen on, okay, maybe if we could try this in a simulation, uh, it would be great. So they actually created a simulator like this. You, you can see this skeleton. Uh, to visualize, which is um, supposedly plausible in terms of how the muscle works and so on and so forth. And then we hoped, okay, it might be perhaps that uh, we can use some other <coughs> techniques to uh, see uh, what would be the outcome if we just um, manipulate something. So this was like a long and gone. At, uh, at the moment, the field was uh, very fresh, so it was just if, if this technique could be applied to learn anything. Okay, so... Um, uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's been framed as, an, as a com competition and in the NIPS conference, so NIPS is uh, like, so now new NIPS is uh, the one of the biggest AI conferences. Uh, it was given like to all the participants uh, just show us uh, our solutions. Uh, and mostly, so here the assumption is, uh, I mean assumption, uh, it was um, not the, um, the assumption of the same competition, but uh, still uh, like the hope of RL is that you don't need to be a, an expert in a given field. So in particular here, we knew nothing about uh, skeletons, muscles, and so on and so forth. We are just given a simulator. Uh -huh. So this movie is rather fun. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this was a movie um, presented by the organizers and so <coughs> uh, like so this is the skeleton or actual <laughs> to walk you need to need on the legs, <laughs> but uh, there will be uh, so DDPG is one of 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 of, of the algorithms, so uh, you you can kind of see uh, learning process so I should again maybe okay maybe I will let you see this and then comment and so there are really one of them this was ours uh, I mean this Guru guy, I guess, uh, was uh, was ours. Oh, this one at the uh, very top. Calvin Stefan, our patron for uh, quite some time. Uh, And this is the final. Uh, unfortunately, it was not uh, our guy, but uh, our was not that bad either. Uh, so what has happened here? Perhaps it's, uh, yeah, maybe I, I, I stop. Uh, oh, okay. 
I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, maybe still from uh, this one is uh, ready. <laughs> this is also cool. Uh, like, what is happening here? So again, uh, we don't have any expert knowledge, and the system uh, learns only from experience. And there was no, well, nearly no uh, hard coding. It's it's not that I sit with my computer. Uh, write some equations of motion then solve it and put it to like uh, and, and, and and to action now it, it was just um, running simulator but and seeing um, so the reward here is for the distance um, covered by the agent and if it's bigger then it's better so this should be reinforced my so, so if, if you covered a longer distance, that it means that uh, probably you should reinforce uh, the um, policy which caused this, the um, uh, stream of actions which uh, uh, led to this. Uh, otherwise, if you just fall immediately, so you cover zero meters, then uh, perhaps it's not that um, great policy. Okay, and um, let me say uh, a few like um, technical details. So, oh, sorry for that. I haven't. Okay, I don't know why. It's it's like uh, as so. Uh, I will give you here a few uh, like dirty details just to uh, make you. A little bit uh, know how it works in, in, in practice. So, uh, like first uh, thing is that the, in this environment at first it has some bugs. So, like the active invasions of the muscles could be made instantly to be maximal. So, it's not like if you do something, you need at least a little bit of time to make it like really strong. And in this simulator, it, they just <coughs> did not put some flag on, and, and I, I apparently it could get the maximal activation in, in, in an instant. So, and this, and in this case, it, it turned out that this jumping policy. Uh, tends to be like at least in this experiment the winning run. So, uh, and why I'm saying this? Uh, like first thing, it's it's some kind of fun, uh, but the other thing is that you need to be careful when using RL because it's an uh, so it's like optimization black box. Uh, and if you ask to optimize something, you might get not what you expect, but what is like uh, just some bug in, in your um, formulation. And this uh, kind of uh, improved uh, also, uh, like if, if, if you see here on this movie, maybe I should uh, go back. Like um, there are this um, this um, this obstacle, so um, these obstacles also helped to make agents better in a sense that they uh, made the environment more realistic. Of the, <coughs> as as as, as uh, you can see, it's um, not very um, realistic as as a scene. Um, let me go further. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm kind of confused why it does not load now because it it was like uh, uh, let me try to perhaps oh oh it's uh, it's it's been working because it's uh, like uh, so i try to present with my uh, 
just myself. So uh, what we observed in, 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 in our experiments is that uh, our agents often uh, time walk, uh, have some asymmetry in using uh, its legs. So one leg was pretty normal, but then the other was like that. So this is kind of... Uh, uh, movement and uh, it was either one leg or, or, or the other, depending on some I don't know random factors. Uh, so we could switch which one it is, but we couldn't kind of make it both. And uh, and so again, so this is some sort of a fun fact. Uh, but um, this is also a kind of uh, effect which appears often in RLM training uh, and, uh, and it's called the exploration problem. So, so, so what it happened here is that uh, our agent learns to walk only from experience so it starts to walk somewhat so like first it's like as, as you can see very uh, fluffy but uh, as it moves it it tends to uh, i mean as it gathers more and more experience it tends to improve uh, but perhaps it does not go to um, to the uh, global optimum but just lands up in some local optimum just so, so uh, uh, like it has some gate and it just mm, improves it mm, perfect within this gate, no, not mm, trying to mm, get better. And here we end up why we, uh, so as I said before, so still remember that we took this uh, um, probability scale so it's it is useful because of the exploration. So we want there are more reasons, but so this one is, 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 a, is an important one. So we want to inject some specificity and how we gather our experience, hoping that if we kind of strike from one point, maybe uh, just a random chance will. Um, Push us outside of, of this of, of, of this box. Right. Uh, why is the set of that of cycles uh, make it closer to optimal? It's uh, like uh, it does it, it does it in a sense that uh, there is optimal solution in terms of MVP given, so then um, the obstacles um, does not really help in, in, in anything. But there is also a solution which you think of. I mean, here uh, we have somewhere back in, back in uh, <coughs> our mind the motivation we came with. So we want to uh, see uh, like train a system uh, what is working and clearly this is not working and apparently here if, if you put the obstacles it uh, helps you to avoid um, this kind of guide so um, this is a little bit so so uh, like I told you this board statement from previously that we want to think about RL that and this is this hammer you just get the problem uh, and 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 solve it uh, which is true but you might get not what you really want so then you need to maybe have some loop thing what is good and what is bad bad in your and environment uh, frame skip I will maybe skip it's some kind of technical. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, sometimes you need to use some um, dirty hacks. So uh, it was actually so, uh, so, so like as, uh, again, as I said um, before, we got this kind of movement with 
the one leg being quite nice, but the other crippled, even though it could be uh, like there was no uh, obstacles in the um, environment to do this. And <laughs> so uh, at the one point we got desperate uh, so uh, to, to some solve this problem. And uh, one of the guys I was working uh, with uh, was doing at the time a, a course to be a mountain guide, like to lead people in, in mountains and trips and so forth. And there he knew a little bit of like how people should walk because it was like a topic there. So he knew that people never walk with straight uh, straight legs. It's like if you walk, it's never really straight. You always have a, a little bit of an angle. So, uh, okay, we thought, okay, let us put an additional reward into the system just for having legs not completely straight. So it's... Well, it's a little bit dirty, but it's uh, it, it uh, uh, worked um, really well in a sense that if you see like the so don't think about the scale that much. You um, think here mostly about if it grows or not. So um, this is in training time, and this was the standard training. Once we added this, uh, what we called here near reward shaping, it started to grow. Uh, really faster, and also we looked at a lot of these movies. Uh, so the gate was uh, really, I mean, it was still not perfect, but much, much nicer. Uh, finally, uh, as I said, so what do I have another slide? Uh, uh, okay. As I said, so nowadays most of the stuff is done with um, networks. So this is now some kind of parameterized by as 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 a neural network. You why as the question why using deep network is outside of the scope of this talk, right? but it's uh, like the way you think <coughs> about this that um, deep network has this generalization properties that you present in a few examples, and they are able to so we'll say here, um, I don't know, maybe. Um, um, Presents a, a few actions on, on, on a few states, and they are able to give you meaningful answers for other states which have um, which they have never seen um, during the training, which is kind of a like learning magic. Um, but the, this you pay something for it, and you pay that it's, uh, it's never accurate. And uh, then you need to understand later what is the dynamics of the training from the standpoint of neural network. And for example, the one which is bigger tends to act <coughs> in a different way than the one which is smaller. And uh, it, it was what we observed here that the, uh, so I, I don't have a graph. A plot, but it was then once we used uh, a small network, it tended to learn quite fast, but end up in a uh, in a uh, um, performance which was good but not great. And we we were kind of sure that uh, okay that that might be the case that the network is too too small the capacity uh, is not enough. Uh, but when we try to put a bigger network, so this uh, hidden size, you can think uh, like uh, 
the bigger hidden size, the bigger the network. Uh, if we put a, a bigger size, then the training couldn't start even because, uh, like, okay, I, I, I will not go into deep learning details here. So here again, you sometimes need to do, do some tricks. So we constructed a network, which was a mixture like combination of these two. And while training, we change this alpha from what? From one, so using small network and gradually towards zero to use the bigger network. So. Uh, I mean, I, I mean it, it's not really maybe important the details of what we did here. It, it is uh, more to say to, to say to you that okay, uh, deep learning uh, with um, reinforcement learning is great, but it's not um, completely for free. It's uh, yeah, like you, you need to sometimes. Uh, play a little bit with this um, dirty um, secrets below. Uh, so this is, yeah, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so um, sorry, I should have uh, uh, put it um, before. So um, this was this um, blending thing. So it, it, I mean, if we just um, retrain it, we would get something like that, it would be blending with um, nicer um, results. Uh, okay, so I, uh, how much time do I have? Okay, I, one hour, so do you have any questions so far? Well, what's the output of the network? I mean, there's uh, only one uh, deep network that uh, was doing the whole body, or just with the, some mesh of networks? It was, uh, like, it depends, it was one, but the algorithm uses two uh, insight, uh, and uh, I hope that we will arrive to the uh, practical session. So I will say uh, what is the uh, what is the purpose of the other one. So one is the policy clearly, but um, there is another. Uh, which is uh, quite useful. Uh, okay, I, I hope to get it. Uh, okay, so there's another, another theme. So uh, like another big topic in RL is model-based uh, based RL. And what we uh, aim here is that the agent except for the fact that it works in this loop, so action and reward, reward action and action and reward, reward, it may have an internal model of the world, meaning imagination, and uh, probably maybe pre-compute something inside its head and, and, uh, and uh, make it some training or behavior better, so that's like, uh, high level story. Uh, so there are many, uh, like, so, so I just list here a, a, a few papers just to uh, give you uh, an impression that it's uh, like a broad topic and uh, there are many. Uh, aspects of it, but we will not enter into this. And uh, one of the goals, so uh, maybe uh, you could perhaps at this point ask, so uh, that uh, you can hear that I, I'm telling you all the time that the error is great, or is doing this and doing that, blah, blah, blah. So why isn't it used everywhere then? And uh, it's, it's a valid question. And the answer is that it's, uh, I mean, back then when, uh, when I, 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 I was trained this uh, skeleton and still now, 
it's not very um, sample efficient, meaning that you need to collect quite a, a lot of in, in experience to um, get something useful. So for this um, skeleton uh, problems, we worked on a like cluster and one, one experiment was, uh, I can't recall, but using at least two or three uh quite mm, powerful machines and we run like uh, at least a few hundreds of such experiments so uh, it's not like you get it like completely for free or or even to say uh, or, or say in 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 in, in, in this pro problem area area like go and and uh dota that training uh, is really, really a lot of compute. So the cost of, of um, compute is counted in, in millions and it's not like one million, it's probably more than 10 million um, dollars. So it's, uh, so the game to make it more some, some, some sample efficient meaning to, to that you would need uh, like less experience, then less compute, and perhaps if you want to run it on a real world robot, it's it's also you need to. Uh, it's a really um, important game, and uh, you could think, and it's a reasonable thought, which is pursued here, that uh, okay, if if a system can imagine the future somewhat, it may maybe uh, save you for. Uh, Mm, mm, some uh, experience. So uh, it's uh, like uh, this is a, a, a pseudocode of the algorithm from uh, our paper, but uh, like the pseudocode is quite mm, generic. It could be used in. Uh, and uh, like the details are, are ours, but the cost structure is uh, was known much earlier. So maybe I will go uh, uh, what we do here and what is new uh, compared to uh, to what we know. So uh, maybe I, I stand to that. Okay, so. Uh, the new element which we don't know before is a word model. So, word model technically would be a function, uh, another function, So, ideally, we would have. Like to have a copy of, of MPP, which we learned. So um, this is like um, this is a transition function, the state of action, of, uh, what is the next state? So it, it's like ST, this is ST plus one state. And uh, like there is the other line MPP, which uh, has this function, but we don't know this, so we want now to let it be this function. And uh, as I said, this we can think relatively as being. Imagination, meaning that if you apply this in, 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 in your head, you generate state and then like take my training with just uh, right and there is a cliff and you probably fall and maybe it's a great idea. Uh, and this uh, algorithm we train bo both. Uh, policy and uh, and the environment and the overall structure is really easy that we gather so uh, here the, 
agent training is just standard RL training, except for the fact that it uses not experience, not that much experience for the real world or from the game, game, but it uses also experience for the model which we train here. So it, it, it it now has two sources of, of experience uh, and, and about the model we think that it's kind of for free so uh, we can generate as much uh, as much uh, experience from imagination as we want um, the problem is that it's almost never perfect, even in a, like a simple games. Like maybe in chess or, or Go, you could train a model which is perfect, that's true, but these are like really rare, rare examples. And usually, so I have maybe I skip. Uh, so I, I will tell this later. Uh, So this is like oh okay here I I I I, I will show you an 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 example. So one of those games is the real game, like it would would be on on the Atari, and the other I don't tell you which one is is the game generated by our model by train neural network, and here in this case. What you see, uh, and here is the difference. So you see that, uh, like both of them, seem similar. Uh, you would, I couldn't tell which one is true, which one is false. I mean, which one was from the game and which one was trained. But they are not really the same. And this game, this game is deterministic, so they should be the same exactly. And okay, so if you have such errors, it at least looks that okay, your model might might be not perfect, but at least it's kind of plausible. So if you generate experience from something uh, which is plausible, perhaps you would get policy which is. But uh, this is not always the case that you mo your model is plausible. So, uh, so this is still no, it's not the error. So here it's still like uh, you see some differences. But I uh, know I don't have it here. Mm, sorry. I mean, we um, I can maybe. Uh, so sorry, because I, I have it on my uh, other slides. I just um, forgot uh, to put it here, uh, but I can uh, fix it quickly. Yeah, so it's uh, like maybe I should. Uh, I cannot do this. I can. Uh, uh, so mm, this is the mm, case of, of 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 the error, which is not um, very plausible. Mm, so our model was trained at it. Uh, so when uh, it was playing, like instead of moving the paddle just uh, thought that it could increase the paddle to be longer. And, okay, game one, but it's uh, with this experience, you probably will not get uh, a policy which you are after. So if you deploy it back to the real warning, the real game, it will completely fail, obviously. Uh, so sorry for this. Mm. Uh, 
So let me go back here. Uh, so here is the, uh, so, so, so uh, I mean, so this example is, uh, is to say that uh, if you are working on, on the RL system, you should probably consider using a model base, but uh, at the same time, you, you should, should be careful uh, because your model uh, this way uh, can be, uh, I will clearly not go here into details, but you need to think a little bit what, what your model are at. And uh, again, here we are in deep learning, so you need to structure the network properly to pass a while to get into what you see here. And uh, also about the results. So uh, like uh, the red line is what you would get without using model. And uh, you see that on, on most of the games uh, and, and the bars is, is what you get uh, with the models on, on some scale. So you see that there is some, uh, in most of the games, uh, you can see some, some uh, improvement, but the, there are also ones which you don't see, uh, see that much improvements or even you lose something precisely because of these errors. You train your model, which is faulty, then you train uh, using both real data and this faulty data, and uh, you end up uh, in something which is worse than you would do just without the model. Uh, so this is pixel perfect as I showed you. And uh, yeah, okay, so uh, I mean, this is my usual advertising slide. So if any of you think RL is great or many some of your friends, just some contact us, we have uh, many running projects. Cool. Uh, so we have still about 15 minutes. So I, I would suggest that we make now a short break uh, during which you can. So I don't know if you have any common computers uh, with you. So um, there will be uh, sometimes switch on and we will see a little bit uh, like uh, again where. Uh, Fast intro. Uh, okay, so I um, give you some time and then I switch my screen.
I will uh, I Oh. <coughs> <coughs> okay, cool. Uh, so let me start. Uh, let me ask you first. So I'll um, make it smaller. Uh, uh, so uh, it's uh, just uh, it, it's much longer that uh, that we'll do today. But first, let us uh, uh, start the code. That uh, this, uh, especially this uh, this one. I mean, because it generates some files. So this will wait. And then um, let us key, uh, see here. So uh, we have a, a simple specific problem, uh, control problem. So uh, assume that you are a company owner and you uh, serve two, two locations. Um, um, and uh, okay, if you rent the car, you earn 10 bucks. Uh, um, but if you don't rent, you don't earn anything, uh, and uh, you may consider to move some 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 of your cars from uh, one location to the other uh, in order, order say to balance the demand. And clearly, for, for this problem, if it's poison, you could probably take a piece of paper, write everything, and 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 and, and optimize. Uh, however, in this case, uh, we would like to see how we can fit this into the MDP uh, framework and how to uh, use a technique called dynamic programming to. Uh, solve this problem okay so uh, is it clear for uh, for everybody what is the um, problem statement i, I mean um, to intuitively okay i mean it's it's like i tried to type it it's zero uh, three o w t p if you can uh, share it. Okay, so um, the first question is what would be, what is so, so uh, we need to plug it into this framework. So, what would be the state space here? Uh, it, uh, yeah, it sounds good, but uh, what would be the like technically speaking? Like, if you need to put it in, I don't know, write a signature or put it in, in, the, in the code. Location. Yeah, so it should be like so. We have uh, <laughs> you might have noticed some of you that um, it's and then uh, like the answer. So uh, at the, in the code, so strictly speaking, it might be a couple of uh, how many cars are it's at uh, at each of the location. Uh, what would be then the the action space? So I assume <laughs> you already have guessed that there, <laughs> uh, but 
the tension is right. Ah. So it's like, uh, so uh, it's um, like, and this has been number of the cars moved. Uh, so it's, 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 it's again kind of one number. And uh, reward, okay, so I, I, I showed you, so the reward in this case is uh, like the number of cars rented times uh, 10, because we earn 10, 10 bucks for each, and then uh, for each move we pay two, so it's a scala. I guess it's completely clear. And then uh, we'll see how it. Uh, uh, this is uh, yes. So transition in the problem. So it depends on uh, random events. Like so, here we had this um, Poisson process. Uh, how many cars will be rented? Uh, but the uh, at, uh, depends uh, also on the actions of, of the owner. So it's like uh, you can uh, write this explicitly here. It's uh, written in, in words. And uh, uh, so this is a technical thing which I kind of om omitted so far. Uh, but uh, maybe it's a good thing to say it now. So, uh, like uh, here we have the same timeline, and uh, uh, two common approaches are that the work with the episodic entities. So, we just assume that there is uh, some fixed time t. At, at which the game acts. You want to optimize the reward within this uh, this uh, video that is called uh, episodic. Uh, he is so uh, he is uh, episodic. And this T is uh, infinite is, is not episodic. And you see uh, probably. A clear problem with the non episodic approach that it will some uh, rewards uh, up to infinity, you might think of something which is an infinite, uh, which is not that we can work with. So, uh, what, is, uh, what is the solution? It's, it's this is this distal factor. So, when you hear gamma is in between. One and total reward has assumed to be zero. Uh, something like that, which is uh, it has two different uh, integers in the statement. One is that, well, in many cases, it makes the sum just convergent. And recently, it's, 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 we don't think about some that related cases and we work on draw or something. Uh, and secondly, it is somewhat plausible from the psychological perspective. I mean, that the humans care more about what we get now than what we get in two days. You, I mean, often if I would cook him out, that he would be cooking in two days, and this uh, accounts for that. It's, it's not, uh, I mean, there have been discussions about that in, in, in it's for humans. It's law is not um, geometric, but it's more like a power law. With this function, but nevertheless, it's a kind of more plausible this way. Uh, yeah, okay. And uh, okay, let us uh, so um, let me just check if I uh, if I have run everything here. Mm. Uh, 
okay, so I uh, will not uh, read this code. I will uh, leave this as, as an exercise for you, but uh, here we have MDP. So it uh, this is a function which uh, generated the dynamics as described in the text. And it's like, well, fairly simple uh, Python code. You just need to read uh, read this, but mm, there is nothing really special about mm, this code. And uh, visualization function here we store dynamics so, 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 so i mean in, in, in this case we can basically enumerate states we will uh, not use any neural networks here and see uh, how it uh, looks like technically and so i guess here the st state space is 21 because we are assume some number of cars, uh, total numbers. Here is the number of transitions. So it's not that, uh, that big number. And uh, let us go further. <laughs> uh, so, uh, OK, I told you so far that RL is great, uh, but I really haven't told you how to uh, this, uh, what the uh, what are the uh, RL algorithm, and there are many of them, uh, meaning also that none of them is perhaps the one with, which you should always use, and they are based on uh, various um, principle. I will. Uh, show you now one of them and this is based on on uh, dynamic programming and um, Bellman equation so uh, maybe I should make again So before I told you uh, that our n is to find p zero, which is arc max i of what uh, I see sum p zero. So p one would like to search the whole uh, space of policies and we keep the one which is the best we would expect to the And also, I told that the uh, policies, so, so, uh, so someone asked me to use uh, one network. So I thought that we, we use two networks in the, in the problem. One is for pi and other uh, in most of the algorithms is for the so called query function. So let me now state what is here we use in query function. Uh, so query function uh, given by that's object plus R. Uh, so query function. State is uh, exactly given by is uh, what we wrote here. Gamma T T. Assuming that uh, we start with uh, the first. Uh, the first uh, point of the time we put our agent at state S and then ask him to uh, proceed according to policy pi and count how many, uh, how much he wants if he gets uh, all together. Okay. Um, so, uh, 
does any both of you know the equation? Okay, it's, it's in great. Now are you want you to guess the second question, uh, which is written there, but uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe it was cool. <laughs> Like uh, you recall that at some point I told you that we have MVP and M stands for Markov, and it's a, now it's a critical point for us because we may write a recursive equation uh, for the very uh, function. That's the same as It's a really in the in, in the form which is uh, I'm not maybe the great form of this form, but it is, uh, let us be like that and let us kind of show on the uh, axis what we mean here. Uh, so so uh, like the, so say we are at uh, some time stamp and at at the state S. And how can we express this uh, uh, the value associated with this uh, with the state? We can uh, move uh, one step in time using action. So here we move according to the sample action according to the the voice part of the state. Uh, State S, we end up in, in some other state as prime. So it can be like S prime is a random variable, both because of the fact that we sample from, um, from the policy, which is random, and we also allow for the fact that uh, the environment is random. So it's written here the same transition. So here we start with as we apply uh, action A. So, okay, so here the action is, is assumed to be deterministic, but it, 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 it can, can be also sampled. And uh, here you have some, but the sum is in fact, in fact expectation. So for this transition, this transition to get a reward, uh, which is there, there. Mm, sorry, mm, that could be very consistent mm, about the documentation. So, mm, for doing this, you get your stick or card, you know, may pay up for moving your cards or every money. You end up in, 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 in the state as prime. And then uh, you say that your value at the previous state is this reward plus what will happen after. You just, uh, the value function is as prime and summarize everything after. Is it clear that um, something like um, this comes out there? I mean, it's pretty simple, but. Uh, uh, and uh, I guess uh, even might be uh, obvious, but uh, it's good to realize that um, something like this happens. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will leave you with, uh, with an exercise, which is again quite simple. Why do we need marketing to benefit this before? So which point exactly needs needs the mark of property? So this is called uh, well, okay. So it's like uh, should perhaps make it clear since uh, we are so, so um, this column was made for computer um, science students, so that's why it's it's written more in a pseudo code way. But we are are not here right. I am right now. P I. Sorry, 
function P is as uh, S and B what plus S So this is an operator which takes a function uh, and the output and Another function, a part um, uh, e part is function. And uh, assuming that the rewards are not bounded. Okay, great. So if it's a um, contraction, then what? If it's this uh, simple fixed point, this um, fixed point of this what? It's this uh, x and x and exactly this. And, uh, this fixed point. Let's again, if you like, uh, think it's uh, like. Just uh, string the same stuff all, all the time. So, but if you are computer scientist, you design an algorithm that tells you this one, tells you exactly this, this algorithm, uh, which is written here. So, your task is now. Uh, uh oh it's consideration first we have policy evaluation it's evaluation so the task is given given i so someone says okay we are now at the policy p i uh so um, this is even your task now uh, and what was you know as far as the algorithms kind of clearly apply iteratively this uh, this operator at, 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 at uh, wait a while until you are closing enough to the fixed point. Uh, and this is precisely what is called. Um, I mean. Uh, what is the algorithm here? Uh, okay, so it's uh, maybe not completely precise, but it's uh, like so. Uh, I, I did say there is another quantity which is only uh, important is called the quantity function, which takes action from the terms. And this is uh, the definition uh, so we acting according to the policy phi Dependence is only in this one. So we assume that the first action is X. So we asking basically the same, same thing. What would be the total reward 
uh, assuming that we work with policy tie, and we assume additionally that uh, uh, that uh, the first action is tied. Just uh, for the definition, so that exercise again for you. Uh, right. And uh, okay, you may need, I don't know, five minutes or something, but uh, I guess it's kind of clear for you that something like that will still hold. I kind of said that uh, you need to. Like one, uh, one step forward in time, and you uh, will end up in a new state, which you know will be the uh, reward for afterwards. Uh, this is what is uh, written in this code. So, if you do not manage to write it in just uh, on the um, piece of paper uh, you, you can also um, read the code uh okay it, it's not in this code actually sorry i uh, what is happening now why it's so slow ah be, okay so it's and uh, and here this function makes um, policy of um, evaluation meaning that it applies the bellman operator iteratively to uh, calculate the states of some policy here so it uh, i can't um, recall now which exactly policy it is but it's uh, i mean so it uh, it starts with all zero and this is a mini glass so this is like the first iteration of the um, of the F Evaluation and this is uh, like how many cars we have on the in the first location, how many cars in the second, and uh, as you you can see when you iterate, you get something like meaningful and connected to the policy, and uh, well after some some number of iteration you you, you can see that it starts to converge because it needs to converge but uh, but uh, by uh, what we have said and uh, so like i do not want to enter into these numbers because these numbers depend on the policy which uh, which uh, uh, the agent is using so we would need to um, march it through but you, know, you can see that uh, like uh, there is uh, some sort of uh, choices which are better and so some so, sort of um, choices uh, which are worse uh, the important step is so what we are aiming for is, is we are aiming into uh, designing a very simple algorithm how to find uh, the optimal policy uh, and this policy uh, so and this algorithm is uh, like wrote uh, written here in this in two steps so uh, we need to be able to evaluate the policy we are using now and then we we need to be able to improve it and so uh so we are already using what i've written and uh, and here the code uh as you see we already are able to evaluate the policy and uh, improvement we do something very simple so uh, here is the uh, 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 here is the rule in which we make uh, make the improvement so 
uh, it's uh, so, so maybe I should uh, write it here more, more explicit in the formulas. Uh, so assume that we have a uh, phi. Okay, so this is the evaluation um, of the um, current policy, and then we we define the phi prime with this um, formula, uh, which is there. So this is state to action. So phi uh, prime at state s is r marks. Over actions over actions with respect. So it's uh, I mean, I will make it a little bit better. okay. So let me I will follow uh, uh, let's try. Uh, what is uh, happening here? Uh, so, which is function? It was the um, whole goal of like, and right, like on the blackboard, and uh, most um, put the spike here. So, we yeah, assume that we have evaluated the current um, policy, uh, and uh, we want to make it a little um, bit better. So, what we do? And each state we think what would be the action that if we take this action, we would get the maximal. So, so here is, is, is the expectation over uh, the environment that we want to, in some sense, maximize that. So the reward in this step. In the state S plus the rewards afterwards, assuming that uh, afterwards we act uh, at the policy part. So um, let me just, um, just do that on the. Uh, so here we are at, at state S. So here uh, we choose action A. And and state S, and then we just put in ECPI. So next actions are at the cutting to part. Is it clear? So in this way, we like think, like we make the simplest improvement possible in the sense that we think on the one step ahead, so how could we improve, given the fact that afterwards we'll act uh, using policy pi, and this this gives us a new policy pi prime, and a fact of life is uh, that uh, value is bigger equal I. So this is again, this is, um, so by this I mean for any state. Uh, so you might just, I mean, this part is almost obvious that if you, uh, okay, maybe not almost obvious, but if you start to write equations, uh, you, you will just see this. You, you, the fact is, uh, like for the proof, you don't need to do anything. You, you just write and you, uh, you will see uh, where it goes. Uh, okay. Well, how the maximizer policy is unique? Here. 
uh, I mean, the final solution is unique, you know, for the market, you know, for the, the policy that wants to like the expectation value. So it's a uh, good question. Uh, uh, so say in the like, um, I can give two answers. So first, first if you think about the that uh, the simple case where uh, when the state space and the action space are just finite, everything is kind of finite. So you can, uh, but then you are in a function space and for values, you, you need to prove something. Uh, and this goes down to some sort of convex, convex analysis, which is again kind of simple, but uh, it's not obvious from the beginning. So I will not show it, but uh, it can be shown. And there is also, so this is uh, like question which also enters here. So uh, in some sense, because I, I um, I wrote that it's bigger or equal. Uh, and uh, another part of this part is uh, the equality calls uh, even only if i is equal to phi zero. So this is the best one. So <coughs> this fact or this two facts uh, show you that, uh, I mean, if you use this kind of an, an operation, so this simple, uh, you uh, uh, prove just uh, one step. Uh, so first of all, you will improve. And then you know that if you stop improving, you are right at your final solution. So it's, uh, this is kind of a complex system which is uh, embedded into this, uh, this um, formula relation. Okay, so we see that. Uh, like this gave us uh, uh, the first uh, RLA algorithm, which you can use, which is, uh, as I said, it's uh, written here in, in words that it's called um, dynamic um, programming. I mean, uh, uh, all the stuff here. Uh, so here in the code, we have um, improvements. So we have this. Uh, uh, this uh, p prime. Let us see if it works. Yeah, so we can see that uh, we got some other policy, and uh, so the current policy. Uh, so, so this is only so. So here, here we have uh, like only one step of of improvement. So uh, having this uh, value function, uh, we calculated uh, the action. So how many cars should be moved? So by just running this formula here, and then. Uh, uh, here, uh, finally, we have um, um, combination of these two. So we uh, calculate the value function, and then we uh, find the um, policy p prime. We calculate the value function for the new um, new policy and uh, continue this. So uh, I hope that it. It calculates something as I uh, so here you see the value function in the second step and as some associated policy p prime 
and then this policy p prime is now uh, evaluated in the in this step so it it's 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 the it's, so here is the value function of this policy now it gives rise to a new new policy and we continue and um, let us see what will uh, so i don't know how many steps will be uh, will be uh, here done but you you can see already some sort of a pattern emerging so if there are many cars uh, in one locations and uh, not that many in the other um, they should be moved to the other which is not that um, surprising perhaps for this problem uh, so, 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 so um, this problem is more as insanity check that the algorithm works really not that you need uh, to solve it in this way but it, it also gives you some um, proper number oh, okay so uh, we put only six um, iterations here so we haven't really converged let me check if i can uh policy pi why why it's only six of them i forgot uh if not change ah, okay you, because we did not change the policy okay it's somewhat strange but okay so so it's uh, it's um there is some maybe it's good uh, it's, it's so uh it does not seem to be the optimal one and perhaps the evaluation is not not optimal uh, okay i i, I so, so i i will leave, leave you with that to check some details but anyway we uh, finally we uh, arrive at the policy which is uh, um, you can see that as i said it's kind of uh, trivial from uh, the quality way that uh, it's kind of uh, easy to um, to know that if there are many cars in one location you should move but uh, it's uh, but the, the exact number is something you need to uh, already work on so the numbers which were which are um, calculated here is is, is uh, like this uh, real um, quantitative output okay uh value iteration okay so this is like so uh uh, here um, just maybe to uh, wrap up things you, you can uh, explore this um, collab uh, further so there are uh, other versions of this algorithm which uh, like uh, you, you can play with how many steps of value uh, value evaluation you make versus how many steps of uh, value um, imp of um, policy um, improvement in your mic and it, um, in, in each cases it should converge to the same results but the speed uh, like the speed of um, convergence might be not the same okay guys i hope that i haven't lost you um, completely and uh, uh, my time is over uh, so i guess if you have any question i guess we can allow for maybe one question but uh, otherwise i guess there's a coffee break which nobody wants to meet <laughs> I, I am happy also to answer questions during the coffee break if someone just 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 ask me.
Anybody wants to ask this one single question? Not a thousand minutes. 